guys welcome to swamp donkey or welcome back to swamp donkey gardens uh where we do a whole lot of gardening a little diying and lately we've been doing a whole lot of repurposing uh and we have a whole lot of fun so but uh, i just wanted to give you a little kind of a little update i'm sitting here on the back porch enjoying my my coffee it's about 10 o'clock it's june 4th uh 2021 um yeah, I just wanted to kind of go through, we got, I would say probably 90% of the garden, well, with our new additive, it's maybe sets us back 85% of the garden planted and, you know, pretty much everything we, we're going to put in, we're, we've, we've got in. I mean, there's a couple, couple extra projects that, that I put on, uh, but I'm hanging out here on the porch. Of the, uh, my wife, Carrie, uh, she just redid it it's it's pretty nice pretty pretty cool place to hang out she got all her plants and it's it's her little her little area and we got a little thing over there we got a tv out here you can hang out watch tv she enjoys all that stuff uh yeah she she really made it nice up here i really it's a it's a it's a, it's a nice place just to hang out you know simple simple and peaceful you know you get, don't got the hustle and bustle i mean you can hear the road and all that stuff but well let's let's get down to the garden and figure out what we're what we're gonna do here this is gonna be our little helper outer uh yeah i guess another important thing we grab my coffee and let me grab my my hat let's put that there Shades back there. <laughs> but in here, I think I got one. My hat's getting a little, a little worn out. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, I got some onion scapes that I cut this morning. This morning. But they'll, uh, they are. Uh, I'll cut them up and either freeze them or we'll. I'll throw them in a dehydrator and we'll. We'll dehydrate and make some onion powder or whatever. But yeah, we have some, we have some, a couple pest problems. Like I said before, we had slug problems, but I think I got that pretty much taken care of. Uh, you know, let me go in here and, and we got pretty much nothing in the greenhouse here. I mean, we got this stuff in our raised beds, but let's set this stuff here. Let's set you over here for a minute. Let me get my trusty uh, bottle. We need to go over and fill her up. Yeah, I, I guess we'll go over and fill it up first. But we got all, like I said before, the corn here is corn. It's not not quite coming up yet. It was only planted, uh, I believe. Six days ago, seven days ago. I want to fall down into that. Take a bath. We can fill up. That's where all my water comes from. It comes from a nice, nice spring. Good water. It's impotent to have good water. You know, all that city water always has, just has, has all sorts of chemicals and whatnots in it. <laughs> so yeah, now we got our our water bottle. We're gonna give a maybe three little squirts of just any antibacterial soap. Now it's getting a little later in the day, so you, you probably I should have probably did this earlier in the morning, but to show you guys, let me shake it up. It's just it's open water. Let's see if we can come over here. We got some flea beetles, is what we have, and they're having a they're having a little feast, but they're they're quick little buggers. They jump around. So I'll go over here and set up. You can see some spiders around there, but. Seeing if we can catch some flea beetles. 
see what they're doing to this one. They're eating the heck out of it. And it's only certain ones, and they usually only go after your... I was just over here the other day, or this morning. I found a bunch of them. I'm looking around, but yep, look at there. I thought the holes were slugs, but they're not. Or flea beetles. So I'm just going to spray around. I'm not going to spray the plant. I'm just going to spray around it with uh, and I can see them moving around down there. I can see them every once in a while. And this only works if you if you get it on them. And I'm not talking the plant. I'm talking the, the beetles. And like I said, I think it's a little early. The earlier in the morning, the better it is. But I'm just going to soap around each plant. In case there's any hanging out. Look at that. Oh, mister. Oh, that's not a slug. That's a rock. <laughs> I thought it was a slug. I'll show you some slugs, but... I'll go back and I'll do that. I'll go around all those pepper plants. That's about the only ones that they're really ravaging is the, the pepper plants. But let's go on and see what we got all planted. <laughs> yeah, it's good to protect yourself from the sun. The sun's, the sun's a good thing, but it's not good for your skin. But as you as you've seen before, I guess these are these are new too. We got cabbages. We got cabbages throughout the the garden. I spread them all about. Now we'll get to all of them. It's a little slushy. It was it's been raining raining the past couple days, which is a good thing. But our our red beets are coming back with with pride. And I went through and. I've been weeding uh, real well. I sit down here and just enjoy my cup of coffee and pull weeds out. But they, they're that's they're going real well. Uh, and I, I went in between the rows here, and I, I planted some more seeds. And I, I see they're coming. They're starting to come up there. Right there, if you're, if you can see those ones. They're little red beets, but all along. In between the rows, there, there. But yeah, that's our red beets. Red beets, they're doing rolling. They're rolling, rolling along. Ouch. And then our spinach is, it's starting to bolt. So we're gonna have to store. We're gonna have to harvest this. We have to cut that all down. We'll get it spun up, and hopefully we can find somebody that likes likes a lot of spinach and I'm I'm pretty sure I do I've been I've been giving a lot away uh, people are stopping by with lettuce and, and spinach actually when our onions are still doing good and I had before with our carrots let's drop you down here Make it a little easier. I went around down here and kind of cleaned out all the weeds and stuff. I got to do something with this bed right here. This is, I planted onions in here uh, probably about three, four weeks ago, but they're not doing so, they're so good. The, the soil there is pretty rocky, so uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to put something else in that one. But I got different peppers and stuff all, all spread about. Uh, there's our carrots. And you can see I've been doing a lot of weeding. And I'm not a fan of that carrot tape. I don't I don't know. I'm, I, I'm just, from now on, I'm going to seeds. Because in this side, as you can see, that side up there, there's one carrot growing. And it's it's pretty far up. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. And that, this is the side I put, I put seed tape down. Uh, I'm, I'm just not a fan. Maybe other people have... You know, have a good, good 
the success out of it. I don't with not with that seed tape. But on the other side, you can see there's there's three rows and there it's pretty sporadic there too. But I I went back in and and I I reseeded and, and you know what I mean. So I got we got other little carrots coming up in the middle. Uh, but then when, these ones will be bigger and we'll just it's just almost a session planting, you know. So and the garlic's doing real well. That's over there. And I took all the windows and stuff off here. I just didn't think it. I thought it would have been a good idea, but it, it really wasn't. But our hot Hungarians are, they're hopping. We planted them, I think last week or two weeks. Yeah, I think last week they were they were up, up potted. And they're doing good. We've, we've been getting rid of a lot of those too. There's a little bucket head back there. Uh, this row we have, what do we have? Uh, these first five, let's share a little, oops, out of the way, pull. Uh, yeah, these first five here, they're hot blazing, blazing hot Hungarians. Uh, they're a little different than the, than the, the hot Hungarian wax. The hot, I think these are, these are a lot, these ones are going to be a lot hotter. And then the, all the little one, the rest of the little ones all the way up there are, uh, what are them ones? Oh, them are our hot fish pepper, which I'm 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 very curious to see about how they grow. It's the first time I ever grew them, but our peppers usually do usually do real well. And, uh, I think this whole row is sweet bananas. That's all all sweet banana all the way up to the end. And then we got I think them are all romas. Which them are gonna go I think they're gonna we're gonna line them up behind us so but then we we planted all these which they are them are all Rutgers Rutgers tomatoes all the way up and then there's every once in a while I got some cabbage and there's some some way up there on the other side there right there there's another one and then our peas which outdoors they ain't doing so good, so I, I did replant some peas. I so they they should come up. I just replanted them the other day, but I mean there there's a there's some of them coming up. There was a lot more weeds. I've been I've been fighting the weed battle. Uh, so, but like I said, there's and I got some pests, and like I like I said, the only ones that I've really nailed down that are are the slugs and the flea beetles, but the the flea beetles we should be able to take care of and I, I'm pretty sure we got the slug uh, the the slug problem under control we got our slug pellets down and they they, they just work wonders they turn them into little snot balls uh, so but over in this I don't know what's going on there I think I'm just gonna dump that I think I'm just gonna call that that was a uh, spearmint didn't work out for me uh, these are all, I think, yellow pears. Yeah, yellow pears, these front ones. And then these littler ones in the back are uh, red cherry tomatoes. And back here is our more, more peas. This whole, this whole line down there is peas. Um, we got our cabbage, some more cabbage. Early golden is what they are, and then there's a purple bean, another cabbage, another cabbage over here. Uh, oh, and I think these this back half of tomatoes are mortgage lifter. I think there's, I, you know what? I think they're all actually all mixed now. And I'm looking down there. I see a best boy. Here's a mortgage lifter, mortgage lifter. I think there's some more best boys down there. I think that's all mixed. Uh, this is a, I have no idea. The only bad thing about using these popsicle sticks and they get all muddy, they get pretty hard to read, but that's a Wreckers. And there's some more cabbage. And then that's the other end of the, the sweet banana row. That's another cabbage and then meet my friend here uh, Buckethead 
he keeps a watch on the garden when Buds is out here. But look who's, who's still creeping around. Security. Hey, Mr. Boy. Huh? What do you got to say to everybody? Say hi, boy. Huh. You my good boy. Hmm? You can't get enough of it. Enough of that, huh? You're not allowed coming. He's not allowed coming in. And here he gets. He's too clawed hoppy. But yeah. <coughs> Excuse me again. But yeah, there's another uh, early golden cabbage. And I've come up to the other end of the, the carrots. You can see them a little better. Which, I, like I said, I, I spent about an hour just, just weeding yesterday. Just 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 this bed but that's that goes with with gardening you know fun fun weed especially if you're growing in the ground it's not so not usually not so bad if you're growing in the raised beds which we'll get back to them ones here we'll come around the back and yeah we'll get all, all and all these will be uh staked and trellised once they get once they get big enough and i'll show you back here kind of how i how I do this. Um, we got radishes, which are coming up, which I had a bunch of pots set in here yesterday. And there was nothing coming up, but I took them all. I took these these things off here. And uh, but then you yeah, got purple basil and then more radishes up along the along the way. And then this whole bed here is uh, Determinate Roma tomatoes, so we got we got a bunch uh, Which I got Roma tomatoes Planted I got tomatoes in pots. I got tomatoes. I got tomatoes out the wazooie But our one red red potato They were doing he was doing good, but it's just up the one now. Uh, I think there's another little one in there, but uh, But our purple our, our potatoes are doing real well Which I healed these once uh, which I see I got to go in there and do it again like I, like I told you before I'd get up to the about this 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 amount on the uh, the pot yeah this amount but this up here to the, the level on the pot which I redid these these are our these are how about these coming back up these weren't doing real well they're the golden uh, Yukon golds they're doing real well which I healed them already and which I think this these are a mixed ones, and there's purple and Yukon golds and reds and some more reds over here, uh, which I already healed them, and that's that's it for them. Uh, maybe this side I might do a little bit more, uh, but that's that's going to be about it for them. I think I'll just let them grow from there. Um, and back here, are, well, that's full of red red potatoes. This one back here. And that's been healed. I healed that up, and I filled that up. And we're, if you can see down in there, there's, we're up to about our level. Up to, <clears throat> with our mulch, we're up to about the handles, like I said before. Uh, let's come back around here, and which I got to get to these, these ends of these ends of these beds are all going to be, uh, which is going to be some purple basil there, which this is kind of random. It's basil and two tomato plants. Uh, and then we'll put some more basil here or some flowers. We got flowers and we got other stuff to plant there. Uh, but this is, uh, I think, half sweet banana peppers. And then I think the, what is there? Four, eight. There's 12 sweet bananas. And then on the back half, there's, uh, I believe they're hot Hungarians. And they're on the, on the back half, the back 12 or, or whatnot. Uh, and we'll just go over here. And here's my trellis. Let's see if we can back up here and get her in one of the trellises of many. Uh, if you can see there, I got my string trellis. Got them all up, string trellis. Uh, on this side, and we'll, we'll, I'll do another video here in the next couple days once I get. I already trimmed every, pretty much everything off the ground. Like this guy here needs to. And most of them are coming off the ground. They're getting some suckers, but I'm I'm letting them grow a little bit to, to uh, do a video and show you how I how I keep keep trimming them. 
Uh, but them are all, these front half are all pink, uh, caps and pinks. And then the back ones are, good question. Oh, they're all chef's choice, which I'm excited. I never grew them before. They, they say they're supposed to be really good, which are, which I didn't get them tre trellised up yet. I'll, I'll trellis them up just like I do with, see if we can dig his leg down. And then I got my, my trellis. Right, oh, <laughs> I think you fell down. <laughs> oh, it's right there on the string and then the string's running up and it's, I'll just keep clipping it with them clips. I'll just keep clipping it as it grows up there. So let's keep moving on here so as we're not being forever. And then this patch here is mixed. It's jalapenos, this row, uh, peppercinis in this row. Uh, I think some more. Oh, these are our green, these are green peppers. Which these aren't getting touched by no, no flea beetles. I mean, every once in a while you see a, a little hole like that one, uh, but these ones are they ain't getting touched. Like I said, there's big difference of growing in, in a in a, in a regular garden and then in a raised bed because you can really control it a little better. You can see, but I I noticed you notice back there there's there's one in a cup yet. I came out here the other day and one was I don't know something something got it. I don't know what it was. Better not have been a rabbit. Better not have been a rally, old wily rabbit. No, but like I said, these are green peppers. Um, then these ones are red Cali wonders. And then these are also green peppers, which are, they're big dipper peppers. And then if we can come to the other side. Now we got this side here our rectors which are all all trellis you can see them you can see my clip there my string running up and i found that's this is it's pretty easy pretty, not the easiest way to but i thought to trellis them without tomato cages i don't not believe in tomato cages but i just i only have a limited amount of them so i only use them usually on determinants but i do have the ones up front there in tomato cages so come around here and then this side here is our Cherokee purples and which are not really tall enough to get I mean these couple here are oh you know what it's just this side this is these are Cherokee purples and then these ones are Rutgers that's right these these on this side here so sometimes you that's how many dang tomatoes you don't even know what to do with so, but then we got this bed over here, uh, which is mortgage lifters on this side. And then on that side, it's, it's uh, brandy wines and, and they, they all get, they all get trellised up there. They'll, and they're, like I said, they'll get like purple basil on the end, sweet basil down on this end. Uh, yeah, yeah. So like I said, we're we got we're getting down here, and we're gonna get the uh, some flowers so we can get get our bees going and whatnots and we'll over there. It's kind of hanging out. But, the, but this is our our porch that I built. It's just a and that's all tomatoes. And, yeah, all tomatoes up there, and then. You got some peppers in here, which I'm going to add some more peppers in the pots. Uh, I just haven't got to that part yet. And like I said, our, we were by here already. Our, our corn's planted in here. I think we got uh, 300, about 300 seeds or something like that. The neighbor. I like my neighbors. But here's, I kind of got some stuff on it, but this bed here. I just put I just put in uh, yesterday or the other day, I don't know two days ago whatever but it's about uh, 10 feet by four feet 
uh, which I don't have anything in it yet. I just kind of stored everything that was in the greenhouse in here just, just to kind of uh, just to kind of get her out in the sun. And as you can see, my the, the tomatoes are, oh man, they're rocking. And brandy wines over here, they're rocking and rolling. Uh, but yeah, let's head over this way and we got more planted and more problems. I'll show you. We'll get to that. But we got our, our melon patch and our zucchini and whatnots. And like I said, re this every, everything's repurposed. Let me go back to this. That. You see that mystery thing over there? Uh, but these, this here was that. It was, I think I showed it in one of my, one of my videos earlier. I think it was about five videos ago. But it was a big it was a big fence post that was actually it was down there it actually held the the gate back in oh this is probably 20 20 years maybe even 30 maybe even 40 uh but it, that had a gate that crossed the road it, it let the let the cows across but it's been laying there in the weeds so i went down the other day with some uh some wedges and a hammer and a sledgehammer and i split that sucker right in half so there's one half of it and it's just a, like a big fence post and there's the other half so but it split exactly down the middle it was perfect it was it, it worked out great and then i have some repurposed lumber on this end and uh which you can see up here i just got a bunch of yeah you know, right here there's a whole load of i got a bunch of fencing uh somebody wasn't they were getting rid of it so i so i said i, I can use that and they said load it in your truck so but yeah, let's get back down here. And then in the front here is all zucchini. Um, yeah, zucchini are black beauty zucchini. And then there's some, that's, that's also zucchini. Yeah, like I said, this, this, this half over here is pretty much all zucchini mixed. We got some yellow yellow squash, I think, is in there. Uh, but then we have... No, I think our yellow squashes are here. And then, yeah, here, here's the start of our cantaloupe. There's another cantaloupe down there, another one out there. I think another one way down there. And then now at the end there, I think, is uh, watermelon. So we, we pretty much easily filled that bed up. And here's our tree. Yeah, that was our, our tree. It was our pear tree. And then here, this tree here is doing doing real well. But something's eating it. Look at that. And I know exactly what it is. Gypsy moths. They're these little caterpillars. And they see if we can find one here. But hopefully there's not there's an ant. But they really see there's kind of an old cocoon, kind of. But that's but I'm gonna have to spray it with something. But they're doing they're doing a little bit of ravage. But see there's a good bug here. He comes by and I think he'll eat them eat them caterpillars, but uh, there ain't too many on. Oh, yeah, there's one right there. Look at him. See that little bugger? No lunch for you, pal. No. So that I, I was down here this morning really checking it out. And they got to be coming from somewhere, but I can't find exactly where they're coming from. So I've been shaking it and going around and smushing them and... and they got to be coming from somewhere. Hopefully, it's not the ants bringing them up. I don't know. But I see a bunch of ants crawling around on there now. Look at here. I'm down in there hiding. I don't think so, pal. Goodbye. So. But yeah, it's... it's the apple, it's really getting the apples. So, 
And this one I gotta pull out of here. It's go puts. And there was a couple on this little one here. But yeah, it's with the pears, they ain't doing nothing to the pears. So that's the tree situation. So we'll have to get something on there. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we got, <laughs> which has been in the kind of a works for a couple, about two weeks now. Uh, my One of my good friends was over here getting some stuff the other day and he said he had a greenhouse that he wanted to get rid of. So I said, all right. Well, the, the guy had another guy coming to look at it and he didn't, the guy didn't want it, so I went over the other day and I picked it up. So I got myself a, a 10 by, I think it's 10 by 8, maybe 12 by 8. But I haven't put the panels in there yet. I got a, I got all the, the structure and everything up. And the doors on the front there, you can see the doors there. Uh, but yeah, I just got to clean the panels up and get them in there and I'll... I'll run along and they fit in there real nice they got this edge but they hang right on that edge but I think I'm just gonna go in there and put some caulking in there some you know some maybe with some adhesive in there and I'll just I'll just put some put some of that in there and I, th I think that'll hold the, they're just plastic little uh, they're almost cardboard but they're not they're plastic they're, they're really nice they're actually mirrored and, but so yeah, that's that's about what we got going on. Oh, we got all sorts of, I forgot about Carrie's little adventure. We got, I don't know what these are. These are all marigolds. Uh, these are lupin, lupine. Mm -hmm. And then these are butterfly butterfly weeds. And then these are something else. I don't know what they are. We'll have to we'll have to figure out what they are. But they're that's a lot what I was saying about our flowers over in our in the end of our beds. Uh, that's most of these, like these marigolds and and I have some other marigolds over here that are doing really good. Uh, they're jaguar marigolds. Which we'll integrate them all throughout, and that'll that'll bring our bring the bees in, bring our pollinators in once we need, once we get everything all squared away and everything's, you know, jumping up and it. But I'll tell you, everything's everything's really good. It, everything's taken. I haven't, like I said, I think we lost lost one pepper over there. Uh, not saying we haven't lost, you know, anything. I mean, we've had losses, but it's it's all doing doing really good. And if we did get our, you know, it's not flopping, but we did get our American flag back up down in the yard. The wind took, ravaged the, uh, let's go down and make sure it's okay. There you are, 33 minutes, yeehaw. But yeah, we got our, got our flag back up. Like that. But I'll walk up here and we'll, We'll kind of end the video and uh, we'll kind of go through some things that are popping in the whole whole place but you, the yard needs mowed uh, which that's doing really well I think that's lilac that's flowering and pretty and bringing the bees uh, I guess this has turned into a garden tour Never in a million years I thought I'd be doing a garden tour. <laughs> no, but our rose is doing well. And last year, I th I think I got the tractor stuck in the middle of these, but under underneath these, they're all these are all strawberries. But these peonies, they come back. They're huge. They're they've been here since I bought since I since I owned the or since I you know moved into the place. Uh, but these are gonna be, they're ready, they're all ready to pop. They're like little melons. Ooh, there was a bee right there. We got our plum tree. 
bushing roses. Roses, which they got buds all over them. Bushing roses. And this one here is a pink rose. And this is a... Uh, dang, I can't remember the name of that one. Carrie's going to be mad at me. Well, whatever that is. It comes up tiger. It's like a tiger lily. It comes up with a huge flower. It's, it's really pretty when it, when it blooms. Uh, <coughs> what are big old rose bushes? They got all sorts of roses on them. They're coming. But that little one I showed you over there is my favorite rose in the whole yard. But look at this bunch of stuff. Which that's all carries. Let's take them up with big flowers and she told me the name of these ones last night but they they got huge over the i mean they're they're shading this little one out but this these things both of these actually all four of them over the past couple of weeks and there's that one's coming up to a flower head over the past couple of weeks i'm telling you the and then here's some more of the we got Ivy going about halfway up the, tr the chimney. Chimney. And then some more of those playing around here. The ch they're, they're doing great. They're doing real well. And a little peonies bush down here. Oh, oh. That way. Right there. But that little rose right there is that's my favorite. Like I said, the yard needs mowed a little bit. So let's take a look over here. Look at this tree, this tree's cool. And it only lasts for about a week. Pretty though. The flowers are cool. But that's been booming for about a week and then that's, once it's done, it's done. And then you got rhododendrons there. Ryan, Ryan Balmer. And we got rhododendrons here, they're doing real well. Really well. <laughs> which, which yeah. Two years ago, there was a huge rhododendron behind this, where the flag is, behind that porch. There was a huge one, just like this one. And then there was one here. We just took them. We took them out, and she, she trimmed this one. This one looked like a, a Dr. Seuss bush. It really, it was so cool. And it, it, look at how it's filling out in one year. It's, 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 it's huge. It shows how rhododendrons are. They've been in there forever. So, but our apple tree is doing super good. Hopefully, then I bet you, I bet you a hundred dollars if I'd climb up in there, I bet you there's some of them stupid worms up there too. So, but stupid worms. But this is all. There's some weeds in here that needs to be taken care of. These are weeds. But there's all sorts of climbing flowers and all sorts of stuff there. And we got a couple of things over by the over by the the poles over there i don't remember what they are i'm bad with that if it's not if it's not labeled i don't know look at who's coming security i'm the boy you coming come on let's go over here i'll show you i'll show you these panels and the cowbell the cowbell on the tree Yeah, that's one of the one of the panels to the back of the back of the other the new greenhouse, which I don't know if exactly that's exactly where it's going to go. I think it might go down a little farther. Who knows? Once we get it all put together, and, and we'll figure that out. But in in that greenhouse, I think I'm going to that whole side that you can see in there with all the shelving in there. That's all going to come out, and I'm going to turn that all into raised beds, and we're going to grow some lettuce and uh some salad stuff different kinds of lettuces and some greens and whatnot but yeah this if i can do it in the one-handed in the wind kind of like that all right once they get cleaned up they're going to be pretty nice just, just slides in there just slides in there perfect and then there's a little aluminum clips. There's a little aluminum clips here. They hold it in. 
That's pretty neat. You get it out and lay it down so it doesn't blow away. So yeah, that's that's what we got. Our new greenhouse. Like I said, I've been working pretty diligently. I almost tripped over the hose. Sorry about that. Uh, I've been working pretty hardcore on that, trying to get it up. So, but that's there we are. Sorry about the junk laying around. We got all that and that one in the backyard or the side yard on our main garden here on the other side of the big old pine tree so just giving you an upper view but that's what i got going on here it's getting starting to get warm past couple days it's been raining but it's getting warm now so with that with that being said we'll Go back up on the porch and kind of chill out. Uh, whee! Yeah, we're going to go up on the porch and chill out. And Like I said, I just wanted to take you through kind of the little bit of pest problems that I'm having. I guess I didn't show you this, the exploded slugs. When they, As soon as they touch that, I think they try to eat them pellets, and then as soon as it gets into their system, they, it just melts them. Uh, so, with that said, thanks for joining me on Swamp Donkey Gardens, and see you when we see you. Laters. <laughs>